Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. What do we got there? It's a Japanese ceremonial sword. All right, um, do you know much about it? I believe it's somehow related to Admiral Yamamoto. Okay, that is definitely cool. Admiral Yamamoto is like one of the key figures of World War II. I know a lot about him, about this particular knife right here, I know nothing. I know it's a Tonto, uh, that's, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today to sell my Admiral Yamamoto ceremonial sword. It's been in the family for quite a few years. I'm hoping to get $2,000 for it. If I do sell it today, my plan is to go with my sister to Japan on a trip and actually experience the Japanese culture. This is pretty cool. Admiral Yamamoto, definitely an interesting guy. He was the most important person in the Japanese military during World War II. You know, we have our Eisenhowers, our MacArthur's, our Patton's. They have Admiral Yamamoto. He was the guy who planned and wanted to attack Pearl Harbor. He believed that if they attacked Pearl Harbor, that the Americans would get really, really discouraged and just sue for peace. He really didn't understand the Americans. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it looks amazing, I can tell you that. Any history with it or anything like that? My grandpa was a farmer for a very long time, and one of the people he worked with was a Japanese gentleman, and they became such good friends that he gave it to him. Okay. How much do you want for this? I'm thinking around $2,000. <sighs> and to tell you the truth, I have no idea if that's a good price or not. I know a little bit about Japanese swords and knives and everything like that, and I know just enough to get me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but if it has anything to do with Admiral Yamamoto, it's a big deal. I have a buddy that will know a million times more about it than I do. Awesome. So if you can hang out for a few minutes, um, I'll be right back. Absolutely. <laughs> Having an expert come in, the best case scenario is that it actually was Yamamoto's and it's worth a lot of money. Hey, Mike, how's it going? How you been? Good. Well, this young lady right here has this. Okay. You guys have a knack for always getting something interesting from time to time, and I have a pretty good idea what this is. Okay. But I'll need to take the handle off so we can see who made it. You can take the handle off? Yeah, absolutely. What do you think this piece is? Well, I know it's a Tonto, right? Mm-hmm. It is a Tonto. Uh, this is very interesting. So this Tonto is a real piece of history. This piece was made by a swordsmith called Hideaki, one of the most prolific swordsmiths of the early 1900s. As you can see here, the writing on the tang, it says Mikasa. The Mikasa was Admiral Togo's flagship during the Russo-Japanese War in the early 1900s when he defeated the Russians. Okay. So when the Mikasa was decommissioned, Hideaki made a special order of tantos made out of the gun barrel of the Mikasa, signifying the great victory. So does it have anything to do with Admiral Yamamoto? Well, this is where it gets really interesting. So Admiral Yamamoto was a big, big traditionalist. He had a great respect for Admiral Togo and for what this Tanto represented and the fact that they're actually made from the Mikasa. So he was known to give these to some of his lieutenants that he used to mentor. So this was most likely a gift from Yamamoto to a lieutenant or somebody like that. There is a possibility that this could be his too, because he did have one in his own personal collection. But there's no way we could prove that. Uh, we would have to backtrack the history of where this came from, that's all. Okay. So how much would something like this go for? It's worth $10,000. And if we can prove that it actually belonged to Admiral Yamamoto, that could change everything. $20,000 is not out of the question. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Can you put it back together? <laughs> Gonna charge you. <laughs> Can you imagine being a young lieutenant and having somebody as well known as Yamamoto giving you something of such a historical nature? If you were that person, you would be like, wow, this is like my treasure. Okay, you're good. All right, have a good one, man. Thanks. So he said it was worth like 10,000, which is more than what you came in here asking for. So, um, I can give you five. No, he said it might be Admiral Yamamoto's, and if it is, it's worth 20000 So I'd want to do more research and see if it really is. I mean, like, would you take six? No, I'm sorry. Thank you, though. I could go 65 $20,000 is a lot of money. OK, if you, ch you know, do your research, come back and see me. Maybe we'll make a deal. Awesome. Thank you so much. 6500 just wouldn't cut it if I know it's worth twenty grand. <laughs>